Hi all, myself Ranjana, assistant professor, CEC department. So, as a part of Tech Talk series, I'm going to speak about a resource efficient, predictive resource provisioning system in cloud systems. As we know, cloud computing is the delivery of computing resources including storage, processing, power, database, networking, analytics, and some of software applications. So the cloud efficiency means making the best possible use of cloud resources at minimum cost. So how we are going to achieve it? The road to achieve the final destination of cloud efficiency is we can also take different paths. So there are some schemes for achieving resource efficiency or the allocation of resources can be done in proper manner. But here I'm going to tell about a type of algorithm that is RPRP. Using that algorithm some more percentage we can increase the allocation of resources and we can use the resources efficiently. So resource provisioning is the process of choosing, deploying and managing softwares like load balancers and database server management systems and hardware resources to assure the application performance. Introduction. Cloud efficiency is the ability to make the best possible use of cloud resources. And provisioning is the allocation of cloud providers, resources and services to the customer. Actually, there are three models that provide cloud provisioning. The efficient resource management technique in cloud computing environment, it includes resource provisioning, resource monitoring, resource allocation, resource discovery and dynamic resource management. The three models of cloud provisioning are advanced, second one is dynamic provisioning model and the last one is user self provisioning model. So we can see what is advanced provisioning model. Here. The customer signs formal contract with cloud provider and the cloud provider prepares and distributes agreed upon resources in advance of start of the service and here they will provide a monthly bill. As we know cloud is pay as you go service. We have to pay for the resources using from the cloud. Next is dynamic provisioning. The customer can purchase cloud resources based on average consumption needs. The cloud provider deploys and adjusts resources to match customers usage demands and it is pay per use billing. The last one is user self provisioning. Customer selects cloud resources and services via a web interface. The cloud provider makes resources available shortly after purchase. The customer pays for services with a credit card. So these are the three models we are using. To improve the previous schemes, we present a resource efficient predictive resource provisioning system. And this method, it excludes burst in demand prediction and has some type of algorithms to specifically handle the burst to avoid resource provisioning. So to handle burst, RPRP, that is resource provisioning and resource predictive system, it use of burst resilient shared pairing algorithm that reserves resource shared by multiple 
co-located VMs rather than for individual VMs. Deciding the correct extent of resource needed to run the various cloud services is always a challenge. So, using this proposed system, we can assure a little more cloud uh, resources efficiency and allocation. Now, we can see what are the problems. First one is, after assuring the service level agreements, cloud tenants, sometimes they will refuse to take the guaranteed or reserved resources. Second one is, inaccurate demand estimation could lead to over-provisioning or under-provisioning of resources. Both will lead to service level objectives violations. The third problem is difficulty to predict that a sudden large increment of demand which occurs in a random short time. So when such a burst occur, we have to handle it. So these three problems can be tackled using the proposed algorithm. The scope of work. Resource predictive and resource provisioning system exclude burst in deriving the dominant demand pattern and has specific algorithms. The four algorithms used are burst exclusive prediction algorithm, a load defended padding algorithm, a burst resilient shared padding algorithm and fourth one is a responsive padding algorithm. The service level objective is a target level of reliability for a service. So in uh, software as a service, there exists a tension between the velocity of product development and operational stability. So over provisioning means it could be a host or computing node that has allocated computing resources such as CPU, memory, input output, devices, disk or network that are unused at peak time. When a peak time occurs, some resources they are kept as unused. Under provisioning means allocating fewer resources that are required under provisioning some cases sometimes when we search for website any website it will shows like uh, unreachable so such type of situations can be avoided now these four algorithm the first one is a burst exclusive prediction algorithm here here burst means what a cloud burst means when compute demand exceeds the capacity of a private cloud. Cloud bursting gives an organization additional flexibility to deal with peaks in IT demand. And the load dependent padding algorithm. It is the process of redistributing of workload in a distributed system. So, no machine will be overloaded or underloaded or ideal. Everything will be used. A burst resilient shared padding algorithm. It is used for ensure that the data is aligned according to the constraints of resources. And the fourth one is a responsive padding algorithm. The resources distributed are aligned or it is used in a proper manner. These four algorithms are used to monitor the resources are allocated properly to the users and that allocated resources are used in a proper manner. So we use a prediction technique based on the previous usages of resources and based on that we will provide the resources. So this work is mainly focused on we are predicting the resources and we are uh, provisioning that resources to the users. Now coming to this resource efficient resource predictive system, it excludes burst and specifically it consists of two parts. The first part aims to more accurately predict the VM demands, virtual machine demands and padding by not considering the burst in prediction. The second part aims to 
correct the misprediction caused by burst or workload. Now this is a graph representing the how, when we are using prediction algorithm uh, RPRP what is the changes or previous scheme what is the changes. We can see uh, some increment in the resource efficiency. So this R RPRP consists of following algorithms a burst exclusive that will exclude the burst and noises and it tries to find the regular demand pattern which improves the resource utilization efficiency. The second algorithm that is load dependent padding algorithm determines the padding for each predicted demand based on historical prediction. A burst resilient shared padding algorithm it reserves a common shared resource rather than uh, individually providing the resources for VM from a shared pool we can access. It will increase or improve the resource utilization with guaranteeing the service level objective. And the last, a re, uh, responsive padding algorithm that can scale the resource allocation. And it will multiply the resource allocation by a certain ratio. So here, we use the goal of virtual machine resource provisioning strategy is to dynamically determine the allocated resources. So resource capacity of a VM is denoted using C. It refers the maximum amount of resource specified for a VM upon, a, upon its creation. Then the variables like D, A and U, they are used to scale the resource capabilities. Resource capability denoted using capital C. D denotes the demand at time T1 and A denotes the amount of time interval. A denotes the allocated resources and U denotes the utilized resources. So the goal of our virtual machine resource provisioning it is dynamically determined or allocated to the resource A such that the equation is D of T i less than or equal to A of T i less than or equal to C. That equation makes sure that the resource provisioned to the VM in a sufficient time. That's all about RPRP. This algorithm we can expand and uh, it can also use to for further uh, applications like uh, energy saving etc that's all about uh, the topic thank you